If you are a wedding hair and makeup artist, you need HoneyBook. It is the most important tool in your kit, and I'm here to tell you why. Hi, my name is Kim. I'm a licensed esthetician, a trained makeup artist. I run a mobile makeup and hair team in the greater Bay Area, and HoneyBook has helped me scale from five to 10K in a year to projected almost 200K this year. So let's, let's get a little bit closer here, shall we? The reason why HoneyBook has helped me to drastically scale my business is because I am able to provide a high level client experience while giving myself more time, more time to be with clients, more time to take weddings, more time to myself, which let's be honest, we all need more of that. <laughs> Let me walk you through what HoneyBook does for me. This is not the cap. This is not all it can do, but it's how I utilize it. And bonus, if you use my link to sign up, you'll get a free one-on-one -on -one with me. Okay, so first, the client inquires via a contact form linked on my website with very specific questions. And several of these questions are linked to particular in particular ways in HoneyBook. So for instance, their name, auto inputs in the contract, in emails, um, the project date, project location, things like that. So when I book that project, it automatically goes onto my Google Calendar, which is also what I use to assign my team members their jobs. Right away, after they fill out that inquiry form, they are then directed to a page, thank you, yada, yada, and to sign up for a consultation. I consult, consult, consult. <laughs> I consult with every single wedding client because it's all about trust and connection. Then they're also receiving an email with a brochure and all the details they possibly need. Biggest compliment I get most frequently is how organized and clear and understandable and forthcoming my information is. And the thing about it is that if I give all the information away on my website, it will be overwhelming, especially to our wedding clients who are already overwhelmed and already have decision fatigue, right? So I don't want to overwhelm them. I provide them with the base information they need and lots of other things on there, honestly, mostly for SEO. That's a completely different topic. Uh, but then the brochure and the email gives them those final details that they want to 100% know if that they can work with us. And the consult just knocks the nail in because, well, they get to chat with me and I get to ease all their worries and get them so excited and then they book. After the consultation, I'm sending them their proposal manually, but it's already templated. So I'm only changing little things here and there. The proposal is editable throughout the process. Even they pay their retainer, they can continue, you can continue to edit if they wanna add services and things like that. From there, I also have several emails that go out through the planning process of little reminders or friendly hellos and questionnaires and things that I need to be able to provide the service. I'm not doing any of that. It is all going out manually. So if you listened, you paid attention, I send out the proposal manually and that's it. Unless they're contacting me directly and asking a specific question, I typically like answer those questions on the consultation or they get answered in the brochure. So that really reduces my workload. And especially I'm a mom, I, you know, run a large team. We often have multiple weddings in a weekend. So all these things happen for me. Okay, come back. I'll talk more about it.